Hey guys, welcome back to Pat Max Adventures. I am Patrick. In this video, I'm gonna go around the city of Guangzhou and show you guys how expensive the city is from a traveler's perspective. I'm gonna show you guys food. I'm gonna show you how much it costs for me to do my laundry, my hotel room. I'm gonna be showing you different perspectives from the local area here in Guangzhou to the more touristy and more expensive area. So let's go see how expensive Guangzhou really is for a traveler. And this is my room here in Guangzhou it's a bit small but it's perfect for me as one person so here's the bed the bed is really comfortable this is the bathroom I think the bathroom is the best part of this room nice and big big shower here in the corner these are my teaching materials and I've been teaching here on this wall I've got some food there, the bananas, my clothes. I really love this room. I think it's it's great. It may be a bit small for some people, but for me and from what I've come from with traveling and places I've lived, this is so comfortable to me. The total cost of this room for one night comes out to 200 yuan. That roughly comes out to about $29 a night. I could find cheaper accommodation, but I wanted to stay somewhere a bit local here in Guangzhou, but I wanted to be near the touristy area as well. The area that I'm in, I can't remember how to pronounce it, but it isn't really modern, it isn't really touristy, it's kind of really local and I like that. You can see right out <laughs> into the local people's homes out here. I am on the seventh floor, so seven, eight, nine. So this is a nine story building. Chinese money can be called different things, yuan, kuai, RMB. For the sake of this video and for what I'm doing, I'm just gonna be calling the money as yuan. So let me go ahead and show you what the money here in China looks like. You can see Mao, he's on pretty much all of them. This is one yuan, five yuan, 10 yuan, 20 yuan, and look on the back. It's Guilin, I love those mountains. 50 yuan, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that looks like Tibet, beautiful. Before we get started as well, I wanna go ahead and show you guys the currency exchange right now. Currently, one yuan is about 14 American cents. Okay, let's do five yuan. 5 yuan is 72 cents in American dollars. Let's do 10 yuan. That is $1 and about 44 cents American. Let's say 50 yuan is seven American dollars. 100 yuan is 14 American dollars. Oh, let's say 500. 500 yuan, 72 American dollars. 200 yuan is $28. For the drink and this egg roll thing, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's really good. The total came out to six yuan. A really good deal for our breakfast and really delicious. So you can get 19 yuan for, I think it's about five little apples. Bananas, about 20 yuan. I think I am going to buy these. Kiwi, little kiwis. 10.6 yuan. Okay. Oranges. How much of the oranges? 19. And look at the watermelons over here, guys. Pretty good sized watermelons. Not too big and not too small. Let's see. 10 yuan. 10.6 yuan. Not bad. Here is a bakery, guys. Little cake, 28 yuan. Ooh, I like this one. A little more expensive, 138 yuan. The roll of cake, 20 yuan. Over here, there's a variety of pastries you can buy. 12 yuan for two donuts, okay. A loaf of bread, 11 yuan. Ooh, it has raisins, always very good. Raisins, wheat, white bread. There's some muffins down here, 6.5 yuan. Oh, this looks really good. A variety of nuts, 9 yuan, 9 yuan, 9 yuan. So check out this store, guys. This store is all rice. So if you want to get a thing of rice, 86 yuan. If you want to buy some oil here, 81. And of course, you have to have noodles. All of these noodles look like they're about 11.9 yuan. 
13.9 UN. Look at the size of this bag of rice, guys. These are huge. Wow. Over here, 124 UN, 127, 53.9, not bad. I just did my laundry yesterday, guys. I, it's been about two weeks. I try to do my laundry every week, week and a half, but because of traveling, it's been about two weeks. So I'm gonna go pick up my laundry. The total cost for all of my clothes came out to 150 UN yesterday. So today I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them and take them home. Okay. Bye -bye. 24 hours later and my laundry is completed at the price of 150 yuan. That's about nine shirts, one pair of jeans, I think about five pairs of socks and seven pairs of boxer briefs. But I could be wrong. It's about, oh, and I have like two tank tops as well. This is my breakfast for this morning. I've got my banana. I've got, which I believe is soy milk or some kind of rice milk. I just bought mochi here at Family Mart. Yeah, I love it. This is what I bought at the stand. It's this egg dough with some vegetables inside. It is so good. I've been eating it every morning. All right, here we go, guys. Mm, it's really good. I love the dough that they use with the eggs. The only thing about food here in China is it's very oily. It's really good. Yeah. Mm. That is not soy milk. Oh, I've tasted this before. It, it's some kind of milk. Um, if you guys can tell me in the comments, please tell me what exactly is the name of this or what, what exactly is it. Next is the banana. Do I need to tell you guys how the banana tastes? I'm so bad. <laughs> Always love mochi and red bean. Mmm. Mmm. This is like a green tea mochi with custard or some kind of filling. The pudding or whatever filling they have in the middle here. It tastes a little like whipped cream. If you want to get any of the dried fruit, 13 yuan, 11 yuan, 23.8 yuan. Looks good. Cherries, 7.2 UN. And if you need shaving cream, which I always need, or a razor, the razor is 81.5 UN. This package with the razor and shaving cream, 20 U 20 UN? Is that right? 20? Wow, that's a good price. This hair gel, 51 UN. Intensive care cream for your skin, 15.9 UN, must be on sale. Laundry detergent, 26.5 UN. Shampoo, Dove, 22 UN. The milk, that drink that I just had, I believe it's this. I'm pretty sure it's this, or it's similar to this, this kind of drink. I've had this before and it tastes just like this. I know this will sound weird, but this is the most condoms I have ever seen in family marts here in China. And they also have toys for women that you can buy as well. I wanted to show you guys the cost of the metro here in Guangzhou as well. My hotel is about two to three stations from Zhujiang, which is a huge hub here in Guangzhou. The total cost for about three stations was 1.9 UN. Really good, I think. I wanted to give you guys a objective view of the prices here in Guangzhou from the local area where I'm staying in to the most touristy and popular and expensive area of Guangzhou. So you can get and get an idea of the prices in the local areas compared to the touristy areas and I hope this will help a lot of you guys who are coming to Guangzhou to understand how expensive it is in the touristy areas and in the local areas. I decided to come to Zhujiang area during lunch hour <laughs> and I knew it would be crowded but it is more crowded than I thought it would be. This area is the financial hub of Guangzhou, so all the people who work in the office buildings here come down to eat lunch in the mall here, and there are a lot of people and a lot of restaurants. Let's find out the prices down at one of the local malls here in Zhujiang. Here is a hot pot which looks delicious. I think the prices are pretty reasonable for the amount of food that you'd be getting here at the hot pot. This is another typical local restaurant down at the mall here in Zhujiang. A full meal here, 28 yuan, looks pretty good. You have the vegetables, rice, and meat. 
Another one here, 35 yuan, 29 yuan. Also looks like you get a little soup there. This restaurant caught my eye because of the coconuts. You get a full meal, but it looks like part of the meal is actually inside the coconut. You can see the prices range from 37 yuan to 33 yuan. You can also go to some of these restaurants like this one that are like an open buffet where you choose what you want on your plate. Looks really good. You can see the people sitting here behind them. There's a variety of vegetables and noodles that you can add to your meal. I had to share this subway. I've seen subways before in China, but I've never filmed one. The prices are pretty good for most of the subs. It looks like it ranges around five to six American dollars. 28 yuan is a really good deal for a good sandwich. This is one of many drink stands within the mall. This one caught my eye because of the variety of drinks that they have. A lot of fruit are in the drinks. And I would have to say that the prices are pretty reasonable, ranging from 15 yuan all the way up to 35 yuan. Really worth it for some of these drinks. Look at this area of the mall, guys. These look like artificial trees. It's obviously, is it fake? Oh my god. Can't touch it. Oh, okay, it's fake. I touched it. I thought maybe they were real. <laughs> For lunch today, I decided to get a Chinese style hamburger which is filled with pork and is delicious. This it. Lunch today is gonna to be a bit more of a snack. I got a Chinese style hamburger that is pretty much sliced pork. Along with the burger, I got some soy milk. I'm pretty sure that this one is soy milk. The total cost of this drink and this little burger came out to 13 yuan. Pretty good, more of a snack than a big lunch. As you can see the pork inside, they also put some parsley lettuce in there along with the bread. Oh my God, I love these. The very first time I had one of these in China was in Xi'an. It's been a while since I've had a Chinese style hamburger, so let's see. I have to say the pita bread is a bit dry. The pork is nice and moist. Moist? <laughs> it is, it is, it's moist. And it tastes really good. I'm pretty sure that this is some kind of soy milk or bean milk. It's really good, whatever it is. And I know I'm probably starting to really glisten right now, guys. Guangzhou is super hot and humid in June. Oh my God. For dinner tonight, I decided to stop at one of the local dumpling restaurants. I love these local dumpling restaurants. The prices are very reasonable. For 10 to 12 dumplings, you're going to pay 14 to 16 yuan. Really good price. I just love dumplings in general. I love adding the sauces, the vinegar, and then whatever local sauce that restaurant has. These dumplings are cabbage and pork, but there are a variety of different meats and vegetables that you can add. The total cost for my 14 dumplings tonight was 15 yuan, so good. Kind of totals out my day. If you guys have any questions about anything I showed and shared in the video, please feel free to leave them down below. I will add up all of my prices here. They will be somewhere down here. And remember to live every moment to the max. And I will see you guys next time.